Okay, here we have a Parrot AR Drone 2, and I'm going to show you how to do a shaft replacement uh, because I've damaged one in flight. Okay, so I'm going to just put a few things out the side. This is all using the Parrot AR Drone parts. I have their tool that they sell you that helps get these C clips that grip the shaft to the unit. As you can see, it's really quite warped, this, so it's uh, not flying well at all. Okay. So, and I suggest you keep something behind the uh, the unit once you've, once you've lined it up. And that's because it can ping off. And the last thing you want to do is to ricochet this across the room somewhere. Okay, I didn't quite get it the first time. Let's try it again. And there you go. So that's the old one. I'm just going to discard that down there somewhere. And using the same tool, you can apply a new one. So let me just show you taking off the blade. So the blade comes off. So I've not damaged the blade in this case, but a quick inspection is always worthwhile. Blades have a little leather underneath, so this is an A blade. Hopefully you can see that. I'm going to try and catch it the light a little bit more. So you can just see there's a little A there. I've also not damaged the cog, but I'm going to just check the uh, the teeth. The teeth look and feel good. So I'll just pop that down. But what I certainly have damaged, in fact I can almost not push it out, is the pin. So it comes out pushing down the bottom. We just roll this around. In fact, it doesn't want to roll. It's uh, so bad. It's uh, got a real bend in there. So I really whacked uh, something quite hard. And all that damage there was a single pin. So what I'm going to throw away is that pin. Well, I shouldn't say throw away. What I'm going to discard is that pin and that used C-clip into uh, a tin of used parts and that's in case I ever get motivated enough and find a good way of straightening the pins and get to reuse them. Okay, so out of my packet another shaft and C-clip, push the clean new shaft up through the unit again from the bottom. Should be smoother going through and it is. I've not damaged the bearing or anything. Now obviously it's going to want to fall through so you've got to hold it a little bit. Slide the cog on. Make sure it meshes well with the motor, which is just behind here. Spinning fine. And you can't put the blade on wrong because they've uh, apparently very cleverly put a little half uh, interlock on the uh, central spur. So it goes on only one way. Now, this can be a little bit more fiddly. So I've got to put this new C clip on top here, holding the shaft so it doesn't fall through, and then with the tool to reapply it. So let's just try and do that in one go. I find there's also right and a wrong way the C clips. One side's flatter and flusher than the other. So I also try to get the flattest side face down to the uh, to the propeller blade. Now I've got this in place but not the right orientation. There we go. Now I want to make sure I'm going to raise the blade just very slightly because I want to make sure when I push this on it's going into the ridge and I'm not going to force it in any way again a finger behind and a good firm push and it should click on if it hasn't clicked on you probably haven't done it right and absolutely that's in place I'm going to make another close inspection uh, to guarantee that that clip is exactly where it should be around to get the uh, damaged one. So there's a, a recess. I'm just running my nail in it here at the very end. And you want to make sure that C clip is 100% both sides, all three contact points in that ridge. And uh, job done. So I've now got a repaired AR drone ready to fly. And uh, it's as easy as that. The mounting tool that they uh, that parrot sell, it's it's pretty good. I've used it about four or five times now, and uh, it's doing a, a nice job. And I just want to bring back the pack that I showed at the very beginning, so you can see what it is I used. So this is the official parrot AR drone spare parts, and it's the shaft. Uh, it comes with four gears as well, but it's the four shafts. And inside the pack, you also get in a very very small bag eight. Of these C grip clips that are all essential. Okay, easy job, ready to fly.